Hey there friends, Nibs again. Out here in the garage doing a little goofing around today and uh, just wanted to do a quick review on this. Pretty cool actually, I didn't realize how neat they actually were, but this is an older Daisy Powerline, Powerline Model 1200. And this one actually belongs to a friend of mine. Uh, he it wasn't working and he asked me to take a look at it for him and it wasn't too terrible of a fix there's actually a little metal sleeve on the front of the valve uh, the valves an aluminum casting and then there's a steel sleeve on the front that has a hole in the top that the BB's supposed to drop down and somehow that had moved outward I don't know if there was a BB jammed in there and by pulling on the because when you pull the cocking knob forward it actually pulls the barrel through that sleeve so maybe there was a bb jammed in there and somebody tried to force it but it uh i was able to tap that back down and i tried to pull it with a uh with a hook inside the little sleeve and i could not get it to move again so hopefully it'll be a permanent fix for it but so this particular one these were made from 1977 until 1995 several revisions over the years but this is an early one and by the date code that's uh, on the bottom left of the back of the receiver here this one was made in September of 1983 so that was the uh, the month I started my senior year in high school but uh, <clears throat> I already ran this thing across the crony and I was actually very impressed with the numbers from it um, I'll put that up here uh, it averaged, I think, around 505. It had a low number of 490 something, and I think it was just building up. Uh, it seemed to increase just about every shot, but uh, still have a pretty fresh CO2 cylinder in here. So I'm going to go ahead and shoot some uh, shoot some uh, groups across the garage here, and we'll see what we can do. Um, first, I'll load up. These are the just plain old Crossman Copperhead. BBs and uh, I'll we'll do a five shot group these things have a, a, a pretty large BB reservoir in there but I haven't put too many in there and then now we'll do a group with these Hornaday black diamonds as well Let's see if there's any difference I did the chronograph testing with the with the Crossman's um, I didn't try it with the black diamonds but uh, so this is a gravity feed. There's a reservoir up here in the in the back, and then there's a little channel that runs up to the front where the they drop down into the barrel when you cock this lever forward. So you always want to make sure you tilt them down to get the BBs gravity fed down into that that channel. But so let's go ahead and uh, see if I can hit a target with it. Just at the bottom of the target there does have an adjustable uh, adjustable rear sight I think it's just for elevation though all right that one still hitting low off to the left it's hitting I was only, the only thing I've shot with this so far is it, it can so uh, let me just do a few clicks up here So that was all the way down. I already cocked it. Yeah, I did. Okay. Okay, I see that's on the left edge of the target, but it's up higher now, so that's good. Off to the left again. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like it's adjustable for windage I think that was that was five let me go ahead and uh, try some of these other ones here Was able to hit the uh, was able to hit the tin cans with no problem. So maybe this this one is just a, a tin can plinker. I don't know, but uh, 
that's better maybe this maybe this one likes these daisies and or these hornadies I can definitely tell a difference in the in the velocity I may have to retest this is amazing I can't believe the night and day difference between I think that I can see that one hole is kind of ovaled out there so unbelievable how much difference this I did not see where that one went well maybe I see I see a hole just off the target but real close to that other group still I didn't I didn't get that last BB to feed so let me throw another one in there and shoot that one down to the target here and that one was up and off to the left a little bit but <clears throat> much better group than the Crossman BBs I don't understand that but uh, I mean I, I can understand maybe a little bit of difference with a different BB but I mean that's probably about a the other one is I don't think I could span across the one of the crossmen is probably four or five inches across but the one with the hornadays is maybe only an inch and a half uh, so but uh, that is a uh, that's pretty impress it's a it's a pretty cool gun though I, I like I said this one does belong to a friend and uh, but I'm gonna have to search myself out one, I think, now. And I was kind of avoiding. Daisy CO2 guns because of. Uh, those three actually almost went in less than half an inch so <laughs> I'm getting the, getting the hang of it has a really nice trigger has a really nice trigger for especially for a, a BB gun especially but uh, still got still seems to have plenty of power in that CO2 cartridge and maybe it's starting to wane off a little bit yep so I probably got about probably got about 35 or 40 good shots yeah, I can hear it starting to but uh, I'll probably uh, throw a uh, fresh one in here and try the chronograph with the with the black diamonds see what that does too because uh, that is uh, at least for accuracy wise it's pretty impressive uh, how much difference it was but uh, there you go. Uh, every gun's different. I tried those with a 760 and couldn't get it to shoot to save my life. Uh, in the the Crossman shoot great in the 760, so it's a night and day difference. But anyway, hope you like the video. Hope you like seeing this Crossman Model 1200. There's the uh, let's see if we can get that to focus. Little stamp in the. Um, but anyway, there you go. My friend's Crossman Model 1200. Pretty easy repair. I'm not sure you can get seals for these things. That's why I've been avoiding them. That's why I was going to say earlier. But uh, I may have to search one out and see if I can find one because it's a, it's a fun little plinker. You throw a bunch of BBs in there and all you got to do is cock the thing and boom, you're off, off and running. So good 35, 40 shots uh, on a CO2 cylinder. That's pretty uh, economical, but anyway, hope you liked the video. If you did, like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell. You'll be notified when I do post up new videos. Till next time, have a great day.